Come on, you didn't blow it. I think maybe... What the fuck? Oh! We sat down not knowing what we were going to write, and the question was, well, what do we know? Yeah. That, that was all. Yeah, that was That's pretty all much we knew. it. We knew we wanted to get laid, and we knew we liked getting drunk. Look, man, I know I talk a lot of shit, but she's going to be at the party, and she's going to be drunk, and she likes me at least a little, enough to get with me. At the very least, we'll make out. Two weeks, hands out, month, blowjob, whatever, 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 and then I make her my girlfriend. This is something that we really have had in our heads for a very long time, and really never thought they were gonna make. I mean, that's what's so weird about it is I had really resigned to the fact that it was never gonna get made. It's not a very like hard case to solve. It's filthy as hell. That's really funny. Is that my ass and stuff? No. Penis is plastic. And all this is in the composition book, right? Like you related to something like one kid's like playing with a toy, and quite clearly he took that toy and drew it into a penis. Or a bunch of penises playing basketball. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's great about this movie is that Seth and Evan started working on it when they were like 13 years old. I think they actually had a draft at 15. And, you know, for me, I'm just proud of the fact that they gave it to me in the year 2000 and that I never gave up on it because I always knew it was funny. And, and Seth always believed that if you made this kind of movie that was really edgy and real to his experience, that people would, would go crazy for it. And I always believed them. So when we started showing the movie and, and the, the audience would just explode, uh, I was just happy that I didn't uh, chuck it in a drawer and assume Seth was wrong. We knew there were certain elements we wanted to put into it, the buying and acquisition of alcohol. And we vaguely knew how it would end. And trying to get with girls. I mean, there were just elements from our own lives that we thought were funny that we didn't, we hadn't seen in high school movies that we wanted to put in, you know, like, exactly. just, we, I mean, it really stemmed from, we didn't see a lot of relatable material in movies, you know, and we knew we wanted, we, me and, I mean, we cursed all the time in high school and just talked about the most disgusting, filthy things in public areas very loudly. Mogul is gone now. Forget Mogul. We need a new way to get alcohol, and we can't do that because we don't have any money. Fuck! All right, you just need to calm down. We need to think for a second. Fuck thinking, we need to act. <laughs> Well, after 40 Old Virgin came out, I guess our filthy brand of humor became somewhat more mainstream. I remember just like, it was like months into the process that we actually believed it was getting made. Sit down too. You can get but just a faster, like. All right, then just yeah, get up. Right. <laughs> when this seemed like it was actually going to happen, I sent it to Greg, who who is one of my favorite directors, and I love the Day Trippers, and always wanted to have him direct a movie for us. And uh, he really responded to it, and he took over uh, the helm of overseeing the rewrites, and it, he really made the movie a hundred times better than uh, we ever thought it would be. I mean, that was the idea. What if we hired a good director? What would happen then? Could we actually make a good movie? Uh, and lo and behold, if you hire Greg Matola, uh, your filthy movie actually also becomes a good movie. My cell phone rang, and it was Judd, and Judd was like, hey, Greg, it's Judd, uh, remember Superbad? I was like, yeah. He's like, do you you want to do it? And then I tend to be long-winded, so I, I start to say, well, you know, actually, it is one of the few scripts I've read. And Chad's like, yeah, fine, okay, I'll call you in a week. We're making it. Greg was always kind of the guy first in line to direct it because he's the only person who, when we presented it first to Judd and co and friends and such, he was just like, wow, I love this. I relate to it. This is yeah. awesome. We just uh, finished a long day of, of simulated sex scenes with uh, Christopher Mintz Plus and the lovely Aviva. And um, besides feeling a little like I'm a creep for directing that, uh, they did a wonderful job. And it's a long day. We had to set up a scene for tomorrow. I just walked through it really so quick. No one knew what the hell I was talking about, but I just want to go home. But first, I'm going to have an In-N-Out burger. I'm a pro. Cut! <laughs> Initially, we had written it for me to be, and Evan never wanted to be in it, and the real Fogel that never had any interest in acting. But I wanted to play Seth, surprisingly. And, um, that, the, his inability to look young yeah, has destroyed that. The fact that when I was 16, I looked 30, and now I look like I've been dead for four years. And Jonah, actually, we refused to kind of acknowledge. 
as, yeah, it's funny, as, like, as a individual who even could audition. We were yeah, just like, oh, you look too old. Fuck yeah, off. we kept thinking he looked too old just because we like know him and he like seems a lot older than he right is, there. you know, and he looks. You just kind of forget that he could look 18 when you 